Welcome to the Perfection Selection of Creamer Cards TV. Hello, Internet Adventurers. YouTube says, broadcast yourself. That's their famous slogan. And so I thought it would be only fitting to show you the first ever broadcast related set. Wireless telegraphy issues way back in a hundred, more than a hundred years ago in 1909. And it was issued just three years after the first ever radio program transmission in 1906. So I thought that would be cool just to show you that. Basically this video is purely to give you a sneak preview of what's coming up in the future. So I won't be going into any detail. Please keep uh, keep a look out for my future videos also I'll be putting a link to a playlist that contains most of my previous silent movie card reviews now the thing that we've got to remember about um, the silent movies is many of the original films don't exist anymore simple as that because the materials that they were uh, stored on uh, were not particularly durable and um, plus of uh, something you know that kind of makes us reminds us of our current technology is that uh, they were more interested in the next thing that was coming out so they basically uh, chucked away uh, a lot of the old silent movies and so unfortunately um, many of them don't remain anymore you know, haven't survived, and the ones that do are in such a poor, you know, appalling condition. That's why uh, many of you that have seen uh, silent movies will have noticed that they're jerky. Uh, there's lots of noise and interference, and they're never at the right speed. When they were first shown, they would have been perfect. Anyway, okay. Uh, one question that I'd like to pose is, who was the first ever movie star? Now, if you asked an average cinema goer uh, that question, 99.9999% of them would probably not know. And yet most of us know the first uh, person who uh, stood on the moon, Neil Armstrong. It's just remarkable... Um, that there's not enough interest in the very early movies and yet all of us are guilty of watching television and going to the cinema anyway this lady looking at you now if there was a female equivalent of Charlie Chaplin then it's this actress here Mabel Normand like I said, I'm just going to go through these ever so quickly because this is just a sneak preview of what's coming up in the future. This set includes uh, Rudolph Valentino. Here's a set of um, lovely ladies, many of whom appeared in the early 1920s silent movies. This is a particularly early set from 1915. Note that there aren't many male actors in fact there are none at all because it was issued during the first world war and many of them would have been fighting for their lives here's an interesting set circular perhaps that inspired the uh, tazo craze includes charlie chaplin and lon chaney who starred in many uh, horror movies and uh, was uh, particularly talented at portraying uh, monsters and was noted, was a pioneer of early uh, theatrical makeup. Here's Rudolph Valentino. This is a very, very early uh, movie related set from 1913 and uh, basically gives away some of the tricks of the trade. Many of them are probably uh, quite considered quite tame now, except for. Uh, Perhaps on uh, YouTube. Here's another lovely set of silent movie stars, includes uh, Lon Chaney and many others that you'll be finding out shortly. This is a lovely uh, trade set. 
that includes Mary Pickford and Lillian Geish. We'll be discussing that later. Here's a bevy of beauties, silent beauties. Don't forget, um, fashion designers of, of today are inspired by these early fashion icons. Here's another uh, early set, 1920s. Noticed, um, I don't have many, well, there aren't many silent movie star sets out there, full stop. There's only a certain number, and, you know, it gets more and more difficult, as I found out myself. And it's incredibly um, hard to find pre-1920s uh, cards, movie cards. Um, they became quite popular before the First World War, but, of course, the First World War sent everything into chaos. And it wasn't until the 1920s when cinema really uh, took off. Okay, I was mentioning, I was um, asking you about who was the first movie star. Well, I wasn't even sure whether there was a cigarette card of this particular uh, actress. But um, I was lucky enough to find one. Not only that, this card that uh, portrays the very first movie star also is from the uh, first ever uh, set of cigarette cards devoted purely to movie actresses and actors. And her name is Florence Lawrence. This set, uh, this card was issued way back in 1913. I know what quite a few of you film buffs will be saying. Ah, but um, silent movies date back to the uh, late 19th century. Well, what you've got to realise is the early studios, they didn't think it was in their interest to promote the actors and actresses in their films. They wanted to keep as much power as possible. As you can imagine, um, if the actors and actresses were promoted too much, they thought that they would demand more pay and start striking. And they didn't want that, of course. But, of course, the, um, the free market meant that eventually they would get their way and um, Florence Lawrence way back in 1910 struck up a deal with a studio that wanted to poach her from another studio and they agreed to promote her as a celebrity in a, her own right so that's pretty cool and here's some other cards from uh, that particular set. So I thought that would be interesting, showing you the early pioneers of the movies. See you later. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item, or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com. Oh no! I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track by clicking on the icon up in the sky. A Creole Cards TV.